they have a 36 inch black feature comfort tire fan. I'm going to speed speed to tell all about this fan here. First off, these tire fans you now have a lot of problems. Or do have lots of problems. First of all, they're, it's flimsy as you can tell. Second of all, the blades don't the airflow is very it's not as good as the regular four fans and stand fans. But the good thing is that it takes up space. And second of all, the plastic is the plastic does break easily. If you're trying to clean it, so those are so and this entire fan suit are cheaply made and I don't recommend having one of these. This particular one was a yard sale find and it was like the one died because the motor was almost was the motor was seized up. So I had to take this thing apart myself to clean it out. And I had to oil the mo and put lots of new oil in the motor so the fan can go back to normal and that's the and I tried that as when I was cleaning it, so that's why that's that's a press fan, so the motor also tire fans have very small tiny motors like this. So that's and plus the the blade the bore wheel is very long so that's why it doesn't move that much air. And again this fan was seized up. Here's the tire label here. This is not a brand name fan. But it's kind of cool because of these electronic controls. I don't know what these features are here. I'm trying to show you. I don't know what. This just slows down the fan. I don't know what these features are called. But as a time up to 9 hours. It's on high now since. But the oscillation doesn't work that well. Like it, it's almost broken. But it still moves air. This is high setting here. That's a powerful, that's very powerful high, but the tower fans aren't that good. This is low. You get, you get the super tiny map air on low. So it's mean, but you get the air on high, you can feel it here. And that's with really my tire fan, my tire fan, and why, and what happens if you end up having one. Goodbye.